This is your good friend Orno from Golden Man, and today in this video, I'll show you how you can take advantage of mail merge inside Soho CRM. So, what is the utility of mail merge? The mail merge helps you create personalized documents. So, for example, you want to send personalized invitation letters to your contacts, or you want to create customer specific contract documents. So in these cases, you don't need to individually personalize every invitation letter or contract document. You can personalize all of these things at one go using the mail merge functionality. Now, mail merge is available into four modules inside Zoho CRM. These are leads, accounts, contacts, and potential. And in each one of these modules, you'll be able to locate the mail merge functionality under more actions and then mail merge. However, before you go ahead and uh, activate the mail merge or run mail merge for a couple of records, you need to first create the mail merge template. So in order to create the template, you need to go to setup over here. And in the setup, you'll be able to see a section called templates. So click on mail merge templates. Over here, you can create a mail merge template either using Zoho Writer or Microsoft Word. Now, you can create document in the cloud using Zoho Writer. However, if you intend to use uh, Microsoft Word for creating the mail merge template, in that case, you have to go to the apps and add-on section over here. And then under the other apps, you can uh, go to the plugin for Microsoft Office over here. And you need to download the right Microsoft Office version. So depending upon the version that you're running, whether it is 2003, 2007, or 2010 or 13, you need to download that version, install it into your machine, and then you should be ready to create your mail merge template in Microsoft Word. However, for this demonstration, I wanted to uh, create the mail merge template using Zoho Writer. So let me go back to the template section over here and click on mail merge templates. Now, over here, I create multiple folders where I can uh, store these mail merge templates. So let me create a folder over here. Let me give the name of the folder as customer contract. And then you can select whether this folder would be visible to all users or only to yourself or selective set of users. So let me choose all users over here. Now let me click on save, okay? So the folder has been created over here. Now let me go ahead and create the template using the Zoho Writer. So click on create template, give a name of the template. So let me give the name as customer contract. And then in the description, you can write what this template is supposed to do. So this will create a personalized contract, okay? And this is going to get stored under the customer contract folder. Now, in this module section, you can actually select like fields from which module has to be fetched inside the mail merge template. So over here, I'm selecting the potentials module. So click on create over here. So this will open up the Zoho writer for you. Now, over here, you can go ahead and set up your mail merge template. So let me put it over here like customer contract document. Let me do some formatting over here and let me align it centrally over here. Okay. Uh, and then let me again go back and align it to the left. And then we can say we uh, and then give your company name over here. So in order to choose the company name, you can go to mailings over here and under mailings, I go to insert merge fields and then choose your organization name over here. So this is your organization name. Okay, so choose the organization name over here. So this is fine. And then you can say are glad to get into a service contract with and then give the customer organization name. So in order to give the customer organization name, so choose the account which is linked with your potential. So choose the right account over here. 
the potentials account name so this is fine and then you can say with the validity of next 12 months okay then you can say the contract value is and then put down the potential value over here so you can say this is going to be for example this would be the potentials amount part of it so choose the potential amount over here so here you are so this is fine and then you can say and the contact person from the customer organization is and then you can give the contact person who is involved with that potential okay so choose the contact person over here so here you are and that will be sufficient over here and then you can say thank you and then put down your name first name and the last name over here so you can give your name that means the potential owner's name over here so you can put over here like your first name over here and your last name over here okay maybe give some space over here and you're good to go so your template is set up over here now go ahead and save this template so let me save this template so this template has been successfully saved inside this whole CRM so let me close this part of it and now if you go back to the potentials module you can see uh, for example these are the four potentials where uh, we have already won that so this is reached 100 percent stage now you can go ahead and create a contract document for each one of these four potentials and send a contract document to the customer okay so you can select all of these four potentials over here and then go to the more action section over here and click on mail march the moment you do that it's asking like which template to use so you're saying customer contract template now click on march over here and see what happens so the zoho writer template opens up over here okay so this opened up over here and then go to the mailings over here and then click on finish and march the moment you do that there will be three options over here first option is preview the march document that means if you want to preview like what the march document looks like second one is the email march document so for example if you want to send out the mail march document directly to your customer contact you can do that as well but the third one is edit march document so let me select the first one so preview the march document over here uh, you can look at a print preview over there as well or let, you can download as pdf so let me download as pdf over here so it's downloading as a pdf so this is downloaded over here and this is how it looks like okay so this is the first contract document where your organization name is mentioned over here the customer organization name is mentioned over here the, the contract value is mentioned over here and the contact person from the organization is mentioned over here and then your name as the contract owner okay comes over here so this is the first contract that has already been printed out over here this is the second contract document this is the third contract and this is the fourth contract now in your printer if you have your letter placed out you can go ahead and take out a printout of all four of this contract document how cool is that on just with a click of a button you have been able to create the personalized contract document so similarly you can create a lot of personalized invitation letters a mailing label so on and so forth okay this is going to be a very very powerful tool for you so hope you have enjoyed this video if you have got any question please feel free to visit the golden line website which is glandconsulting.com you can do a live chat with us or in the contact page you can leave your details with us and we promise to get back to you exactly within 24 hours thanks so much for watching this video and i'll see you in the next video